Hello, and welcome to another episode of Late Night Games. I'm your host, Paul, and once again, we're playing XCOM. We are playing... Sorry. I keep saying that. Why do I keep doing that? We are playing the Bureau, XCOM Declassified. And where we left off, I had just returned from Georgia with Dr. Weir in custody. And since this episode uh, should be coming out by the next, not this Thursday coming up, just so you guys know, I'm recording a whole bunch of episodes ahead of time. The reason I'm doing that is I'm going away for two weeks. I'm going on a two-week holiday, and about the time this episode arrives, I should be just getting back to Canada, coming home from Georgia, much like the character. Kind of an ironic little uh, segue there. But yeah, I'm going to be away for two weeks, and um, so I am recording this all. It's still August right now. It's the 28th, I think. It's the last Thursday of August, so the 29th, sorry. And uh, come Monday, I leave Canada, and I go to the U.S. for two weeks, just to drive around. And uh, this is part of it. Let's see what Analyst Crute has to say. Looks like you've had a rough time out there, Carter. Anything I can do to help? <laughs> I could use a drink. At this point, I could use a stiff drink. Helps when I need to think like the outsiders. Truth be told, after what we've been through, I bet the whole world could use a drink. Through that. I'm not looking to think like the outsiders. I just need a drink. Well, I just might have a bottle here that I've kept hidden away for a special occasion. That's more like it. Well, Falk doesn't like me drinking during working hours anymore. But meet me after dinner and we'll raise a glass or two. Damn. Just my luck, I'll be sent on another mission before that. I'll save a drink for when you get back. What about the sleepwalkers? Any news on them? What do we know about the sleepwalkers? According to the doctors, they're in some sort of coma, except they're walking around, and they've got no idea about the stuff around their eyes. What about the Outsiders? What can we know about those? Figured out anything about what the Outsiders are planning? This is no interplanetary raid by Vikings from Mars. They're building permanent structures. Whatever their reason for attacking, they intend to stay. They're doing that with those seeds of theirs? Right you are, and those things can grow too. We've got reports of towers 10, 20 stories high. And the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Sure, but only if we can find a way to knock them down. What about the infiltrator? How is our infiltrator doing? He was screaming bloody murder at first, but then the doctors took something out of his head. Now he's calm as a pussycat. I thought they only did that in asylums. No, no, they removed some sort of device that was controlling him. Or maybe not controlling him, but sort of like a listening device. Hmm. I'll leave you to what you're working on. Thanks. If you get any insights, let us know. Will do, Carter. I like Analyst Crute. He breaks things down for me. The report from Georgia was pretty grim. At least you were able to bring back a few survivors. We rescued who we could. It's bad out there. We rescued who we could, but it was too late for most of them. You mean those sleepwalkers? The labs don't have a clue about how that started, or how to fix them. So frustrating. I wish I knew what to do. At least with outsiders, you can shoot them or go down fighting. What are we supposed to do against this sickness? Might not be anything we can do. At least not until the doctors make sense of it. How can you be so calm when there's nothing you can do? There's plenty to keep me busy. I'm after a high-profile target of my own. What's the target? Any intel on the outsider commander? Somebody's got to be leading this invasion, right? You mean Axis? Yes and no. But let's just keep that between you and me. It's... complicated. Well, that's cryptic. <laughs> Anyone could be listening in. And I've been tracking this case for too long to risk losing it now. Are you worried about more infiltrators? We've already had one infiltrator. Think we've got more? Heinrich says they're working on a test. But we've already got the monster that tried to blow us up. I say we just pry the information out of his head. That might be why you're not allowed to interrogate him. <laughs> you didn't know his victims like we did. Knowing he was walking around the base, watching us for who knows how long, you'd want him dead too. What do you think about Falk's paranoia? Is Falk getting too paranoid? Well now, that depends. Depends on what? <laughs> Whether or not Falk's listening right now. Well, that's it. I'm going to get some answers. Good luck. Yeah, Falk's paranoia, I figured that out with the, uh... 
What are these I little dots? You do. So then, where'd that thing in the hangar come from? Is it one of ours? Rumble of Terror. Going to pretend I didn't hear that Code question. Breakers, a minor operation. Minor operation. Well, let me check my agents. Alright, so... I've got Retornia, Catfish, and Zazzle. Let's recruit some new agents. I will go with... Hmm. I'll get another commando. Oh, you choose their background. Deniable Ops is Densar's, but I can go with additional technical training. I use abilities more frequently. More damage with weapons. Survive longer. Recover from injuries faster. Deniable Ops is move safely while under fire. And storming enemy held positions. Um, what are these guys? Zazelf, you are. Hmm. Don't know what he is. When I go to Densar, Densar is definitely deniable ops. Grease Monkey. Endurance Training. And Carter is Alien Exposure. Because I was exposed to that device. That's my special ability. And that's why I get all these weird abilities. Oh, wow. 10 level. You can get up to level 10. Alright. Um, yeah, just in case I lose some people, I'll get a spare of everything. Um... This recon will be... Sniping unsuspecting targets. You're just a standard guy. Nothing fun fancy. Recruit. And I'll get a spare... Commando. And we'll give him combat training. Confirm. Confirm. Okay. Now, Retornia, let's take a look at you. Can I give you guys any better equipment? Nope, still just the M14 and the sharpshooter pack. Catfish has the scatter laser. And I still only got the one sniper. Carter... You will have the M14 and the scatter laser as a nice package. Okay. What was that? Are we under attack? Relax. Now who can I talk to? What's his face is gone? Begin examination, Doctor. Hmm, where is he? You know what, I'm gonna go check out the lab. The boys in the lab are... Damn it, I can't go that way. I guess my only option is to, uh... Yes, I know, but... Yes, I'm very sure that... Look, I'll send the next available agent. That's all I can offer. Well, let's choose a mission. Do I go with... Oregon, Great Falls, Montana, or Indianapolis, Indiana. Well, I do have to drive through Indianapolis a week ago because this is being recorded before my trip. Let's, uh, Operation Grifter. Operation Guardian. Operation Codebreakers. Let's go with Codebreakers. 
XCOM has lost contact with key communications facility to set dedicated to intercepting and interpreting outsider transmissions. Head to the facility and make contact with the personnel there. Let's begin mission. I haven't lost any units yet, but I'm always going to be prepared for it. I might, uh, in a mi mission or two, put Densar and, uh, well, Densar's already sitting down, but I might make uh, Blamilton sit down and train up another sniper just in case. As I learned with my... So this is where the analysts are stationed. Yes, indeed. Listening for clues round the clock. If they're so smart, why didn't they send us some kind of warning? That's the problem. We lost contact just before the attack. With any luck, you can find some survivors. Oh luck my... hasn't been on our side, Barnes. Then, make your own, Carter. I just noticed Carter's outfit changed. I mean, I noticed it changed back at the base, but it's still different. He's not wearing the uh, vest anymore. He is his unique agent. Um, he's no longer wearing the standard operative outfit. Now, if you look, this guy here, especially with this gun in this electric pack, he reminds me of a Ghostbuster. It's kind of awesome. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, as I learned playing XCOM Enemy Unknown, if you have a really powerful team and then they get wiped out, you're fucked. Especially if you haven't trained anyone else at all. So I'm not going to make that mistake. Your enemies. Quiet, just ahead. We have outsider contact. Going in. <clears throat> Give him one for me, Carter. Flamilton, where are you going? Hit this guy with Finish a critical strike. You, catfish, drop Force a scatter. Clear in the area. And I will lift that guy for Flamilton. <laughs> Nice. Everyone? Take it out. It's mine. Ooh. You Attack. take him. <laughs> take him out, guys. Damn it. Blamilton, you're about to get blown up. Get out of there. Cover there. Going now. Healing engaged. I'm in position. Damn it. That didn't work. That's your target. Take it out. It's mine. <laughs> Flanked him. Yeah. Area secure. Okay. Perk points available for catfish. Uh, he can deploy a proximity mine. The engineer's landmine explodes when approached. Place it in choke points to limit the enemy's movement or to set up a trap. That's handy. I mean, seriously, Catfish, you just got really handy suddenly. Roads out. We're taking a detour. All right. Contact. Outsiders ahead. The fuck was that? Ah! Scatter on that spot. Deploy and scatter. Hit it hard. Lifting it. Taking the shot. Nice teamwork, guys. Like, that was really nice.
No, catfish don't want run. Uh, drop a mine Find right there. Area. Fuck did it go? To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up that which has been planted. Don't like this. It's too quiet. They're definitely on site. What do you see? Oh, taking heat. They've built fortifications around the compound. Looks like you're in for a fight. Oh. All right. Zazel. Finish Hit it that. Up. I'll lift them to Lifting. give you a hand. You. Take cover, grenade. Behind cover. Take it aim. Commander, you're wounded. Keep the pressure on him. I'm ready. All right, now, catfish. I need you to move there. I want you to focus fire on the gun turret, and I'll draw fire as well. Now, I want you to scatter. Force them out. Then, toss a landmine. Lay down a mine. We're in the area. Zazelf, don't get yourself killed. Get behind this to better cover. cover. Focus on that target. Confirm. You're okay, buddy. Damn it, catfish. I'm a coming, buddy. Medic is ready. Walk it off. Hang on there, Zazel. You're okay, Zazel. Hang in there just another second. Good. Oh, shit. Take that thing. You stop this guy from hurting me because he's gonna hurt me bad. And then toss a landmine here. Put a mine there. I'm coming, Blamilton. I'm coming. Got you, buddy. Got you. Get out of there. Get out of there. Damn it, Blamilton! Damn it, I'm down. We're done.
And that's that, guys. Well, now. You know what? That's where we're going to... No, we'll keep going a little more. I was going to end it there, but... <sighs> Perk points available. Yep, don't need to see this again. Landmine here. Lay down a mine. Mine deployed. We got assholes! Lobs! That wasn't so hard. Whoa, there's more. I guess my mine last time did a lot more damage than I realized. Let's get in there, guys. We can do it better this time. Barnes, they're definitely on site. What do you see? They've built fortifications around the compound. Looks like you're in for a fight. Get behind that! On my way! Repositioning! Okay, now, Blamilton. Hit that gun turret with a crit. Engineer, catfish. Flush him out. And then toss a mine right outside the building. Walk it off. It. Damn it! What's shooting them? Focus on that target. Targeting now. Move a little bit to right Take here, and then fire Watch it back target. up. Okay. Zazelf, you got 30 seconds. Take Get the fuck in there. Moving. You. On the move. I'm in position. Oh, I could use a minute. Okay, Zazelf, stay where you're at. Catfish, get on this side of the wall. Cover there. Moving. They're shielded. In place. Okay. I can use a I'm out. Critical striking. You. Drop a scatter right there. Clear the area. And drop a mine right there. I'm now going to heal. Okay, now. Zazelf, you take him. You. Get to stay exactly where you're at. And fire Take at that down. guy. I will lift that Lifting. guy. To make him a little easier to get to. And I'll give you a... Laser pistol. Uh, 
Damn it, catfish, I'm coming. Spend that perk point. Double grenade capacity or recharge heal faster. I can either hold more grenades, which is good, or medic more. And medicing more appears to be very useful, so I'm going to go with that. Well, I got a laser pistol. And I'm going to go with the laser shotgun because I'm not finding any n much normal ammo here. You'll note I still have my three grenades. This is why I went with medic over. So I'll get the scatter laser and the energy clip because all I seem to be doing is using energy. All right, guys. But I think this is where we're going to leave it for today. Make sure to check us out next time as we uh, continue to save Indianapolis. Take care, guys. We'll see you next time.